Hi there and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to try to make a game in the very first version of GDevelop 5. Yes, GDevelop version 1. To be watching the video, do well to like and subscribe. So let's begin. So after downloading it, we have the program gdbeta.exe. Let's run that and run. So it's in French, but we can still read it, so let's go and, um, I don't know, I think that should be yes, so, okay, yeah, that should be yes, so, let's go and go, just keep pressing next, and, so we have this at startup, it's a warning, um, I can read it a little because I can see some English words in this, which talks about bugs, and reporting bugs there, so, it has to do with, um, it's a better release and it may contain bugs and you can report it because I can see um, a URL there where you can report it so that should be it yes. okay so it was released in 2008 I think I was way too young when this software was released anyway let's open up the um, engine so let's maximize this and we can edit the properties right here we can set a name um, nom it's name in French and uh, the author right there and the author we can set the author or just type in my name Gabriel and okay um ooh, non yes okay so let's add a scene add a new scene and we can edit the scene okay we have to select the scene right there so select the scene and add And we're now in our scene tab, so let's add an image, which are the sprites, so add an image, I'll go with it. let's add an image, and I'll select the platform sprites, which we have in GDevelop 5, so just select the stand, and we have that, select that, now let's go to our object, let's add an object, and there we go, add an object, well we have to select it first, so select the object and then, so here we can set the animation of the object, so I need to add an animation first, and so we have the added, selected, and we can check the name of the object and we have to get the exact name and paste it right there in order to get the sprites for the animation. So we got the name and we just paste this here and hit OK. And that's it. So let's close this and select this. We can add it into the scene by, by choosing choose A and select the object and then pick the object. Then we can press insert on our keyboard to add it to the scene. We can also change the properties like the position, the angle and the animation right here by um, right clicking on the object. You can get this dialog right here. Okay, so we need to make use of animations for our game. So let's go and add more images. So select and let's right click and add image. So select our player's walk animation and we have that right here. So select this all the way to this. I'm holding down shift right now to select all this and then open. And back into our object, we need to modify the object and add a new animation. So here, let's um, add an animation, select animation 1 and let's get the names of, of the image. Okay, select that. Now I'll just copy this, close and paste. So add and we need to keep on doing this. So just change the number to 4, add and paste again. Change the number to 5 and add. Once again, paste, change the number to 6, and add, once again, to 7, and add. Okay, so that's all the animation we're making use of for this, and check that to loop it, that's the repeating, so close this, and... So I'm just going to add an event to change the position and animation of the player. So we have the conditions here and the actions on this side, so click there, let's right click, add an action, and we have this kind of setup just like we have in version 4 so we need to select the position and then position x so let's select the object right there the value once again let's set that to 2 and the sign would set this to plus sign okay so that would add 2 basically and let's drag this and hit ok so ok now for the animation so right click again and select and go down so animation and change animation and 
for the object select the object and the value select the value and the sign okay so set the sign to equals to and sign equals to and okay okay and we can preview this so let's drag the events out and select this and we can preview at top so preview and there we go we have a player moving and the animation changing so we've made a simple game in to develop one and so that's it which shows it's possible to make a game in to develop one but it needs no french so that's it and thanks for watching i'll see you guys in my next video